This is the twelfth video in this tutorial series, and we left off ready to add the IK setup to the legs. So we'll do that right away here. And first I'll select the top pivot in the leg and snap my cursor to that selection. And in my top view, add a bone. We'll name that bone. And as the controller bone in the leg, it'll have the simplest name. So it will be leg left. We'll deselect the deform option and make that the child of the left hip bone. Set my cursor to the ankle. Add a bone in the top view. Name it leg IK left change the deform option and make it child of leg left and there'll be a line of parentage showing there select the head of the leg left bone and snap it down to the ankle and do the same thing on the other eye on the other leg cursor to selection add bone in the top view name it leg right change the deform option and make a child of hip right add a bone to the ankle and name it leg IK right change the deform option and make it child of leg right and again there'll be a line of parentage and we can snap the controller bone down to that ankle. Now just like in the arms, when we look at the legs from a front view, they also have a considerable bow in them. And the, again, this bow needs to be corrected. This time we'll do it by scaling them together. And I'll rough that out at first and then zoom in. and scale that in some more and then I'll zoom in to the maximum zoom and go one space back because in the maximum zoom when I try to scale I have found uh, that I get a bug sometimes and now it's not doing it but sometimes we'll get a bug and the bone will just bend and those should be lined up well enough. From a side view, I would like to increase the bow a little bit because it's very slight in the, in the side view and the bow in the side view actually helps the IK so I'm going to bend it just a slight bit more and get a little bit more separation between those and then I can add the bones to the knees so I'll snap my cursor add my bones in the top view name it leg plane right change the deform option and make a child of leg right and add a bone to the other knee cursor to selection add the bone in my top view name it leg plane left change the deform option and make it child of leg left and that's the IK setup we'll just grab these bones and have a look from a top view I'll grab them along Y and drop them in and around the area of the next grid line and that should be good So that's the IK setup and we can now implement the actual IK to these bones. So we'll do that quickly. And we need to set our thing into pose mode first to do that. I'll select the IK bone in the left leg and the lower left leg bone.
use shift i add ik constraint to active bone and set a chain length of two lower leg upper leg two and then do the same thing for the plain bone except it will be have its constraint with the upper leg so i'll go shift i add ik constraint and my model will fly apart and just go crazy when i set a chain length of one it'll be restored back to normal. And then we'll add the constraint to the other leg. IK bone to lower leg, shift I, set a chain length of two. The right leg plane bone to the upper leg, shift I, and the model will fly apart, and we'll set a chain length of one, and it'll be restored. And then we can do the arms. IK bone to lower arm. Shift I. Chain length of two. Plain bone to upper arm. Shift I. And the model will go crazy. I'll set a chain length of one to restore it. And do the other arm. IK to lower arm. Shift I, add constraint, set the chain length to two, and finally the plane bone to the upper arm. Add constraint and set a chain length of one. Now, as the last thing in this video, I'm going to suggest an edit to the hands. So I'll take my rigging back into object mode. And I'm going to set my cursor in this area just so I can center in on that better. And the edit I'd suggest for the hands is to take, snap my cursor to each of the fingertips and snap the controller bone down to the cursor and inlay all of the controller bones into the finger assembly here. So. I'll do that to all of the fingers. Send my cursor to the fingertip and the tip of the controller bone to the cursor until all of the controller bones are inlaid in the finger. And later on in the tutorial this is going to um, prove to be valuable. So. That's about it for this video and in the next video We'll look at adding some conveniences to our rigging and perhaps look at simplifying it even further to reduce the number of bones and such that we need to manipulate to pose our model. So that'll be in the next video and until then, happy modeling!